Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about graphing circles. I think you'll find that graphing circles is really easy, especially if your equation is already in standard form. For the two examples we're going to do together and for the U try, they're all going to be in standard form. If you are dealing with a situation where you have a circle not in standard form, then you're going to want to review my video on just equations of a circle. And in the second part of that video, I talk about how to get a circle in standard form. I'll link that video above if you need to refer back to that. But for just the basics of graphing circles, we need to know two things. We need to know the center of the circle and we need to know the radius. And both of those things can easily be found in our traditional standard form of a circle. So a center of a circle is an exact point on the graph. So to find the center of the circle, we look on the inside of the parentheses. So notice right here, that says a minus one, and right here that says a plus two. This is our x value, right? And this is our y value uh, sections that we're looking at. So notice that this one says minus one. So whatever that says, we take the opposite. So the opposite of negative one is a positive one. And that goes back to the actual formula for standard form of a circle, that it's a minus h. So whatever sign is inside, we take the opposite. Without going into a bunch of detail with that, just know Whatever is there, you pull out the opposite. And same thing here, that's a plus two, so then we pull out a negative two. So we know the center of this circle falls at positive one, negative two. So let's actually plot that point on the graph. Positive one, negative two means we go down two. So there's our center point. Now, how we graph the circle around that is we figure out what is the radius of the circle. Whatever this equals, so this equals four. Four is our radius squared. So if we know radius squared is four, we just wanna know plain old radius. So we can get rid of that square by taking the square root. That gets rid of the two and the square root and just leaves r. But if you take the square root of one side, you have to do so to the other. And the square root of four is two. So if we know the radius is two, what that tells us is that from this point in each of our four directions, we can count out two spaces. So in this case, if we start here and we count to the right, one, two, and we plot a point, that means that's the edge of the circle. So this is the center. That's an edge, right? It is two spaces away from the center. It creates a radius of two. And then we'd want to do the same thing for this north. We start at the point and we count up two for that radius of two. And then we go back to the point and we count to the left two for that radius of two. And then we count down two. And what you've done, once we connect, I'm going to do my best here to create a decent circle, but I am drawing it by hand. What you've done now is you've created a circle, and that circle has a radius of 2. Let's do one more example. So notice that this second one looks a little bit different, right? There's no parentheses in the first part like there was here. We just have an x squared instead of an x plus or minus something. So what that tells me is that h value, that first value of the center, the x value, it's zero. When you don't see something and it just goes straight to an x squared or straight to a y squared, that means that value is zero. For our y part, Notice that this says negative two. We go back to that same thinking we did here where if that's a negative two, then really it's a positive two in the center. And then remember that nine is our r squared equals nine, but we don't wanna know r squared, we just wanna know the radius. So we take the square root of both sides and we get just r equals square root of nine is three. So that tells me we have a center of zero, two, and a radius of three. So let me plot that first center. So zero, two. So that would be right there. And then when I do a radius of three, 
in the four directions around it, it'll look like, so I start here and I always start to the right. So one, two, three, plot your point. We'll go up, one, two, three, plot your point. To the left, one, two, three, plot your point, and down, one, two, three. And then this one's a little bigger, so I'll do my best. We want to connect. Mine is not great, but you get the idea. So now we have a graphed circle. Here's one for you guys to try. In the video description below, I'll post what the center and what the radius should be. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.